Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Have you ever wondered if there are certain things the Kardashian family refuses to film for their popular reality TV show? Keeping up with the Kardashians originally premiered in 2007, getting viewers insight into what happens behind closed doors for the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Then, the Kardashians premiered on Hulu years later in 2022. The new version of the show is a little different compared to the original since it's far more clean-cut and controlled. Here's what Kris Jenner just revealed about what's off-limits for the camera crew. Kris Jenner gives details about the Kardashians' camera crew. When Kris appeared on The Late Late Show with James Corden, she gave some interesting insight into what the filming process for her family's reality TV show is like. She says she gets going with her day at 4.30am to handle all her obligations. The momager starts her day on the treadmill and squares her checklist away with her assistant. She also noted that the cameras are always rolling, but not everywhere. When James asked her about the camera crew, she responded saying, The only place they don't go with me is the shower, you know what I mean. It isn't surprising that Chris revealed this little detail. After all, there haven't necessarily been any scenes from the Kardashians showcasing the family in the bathroom. The closest bathroom scenes viewers have seen would be any of the famous family members getting their makeup done by professional makeup artists. Chris Jenner didn't say the kitchen was off limits. A separate room we definitely know isn't off limits for the Kardashians' camera crew is the kitchen. Some of the most iconic scenes ever have come from different kitchens owned by members of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Who could forget about the time Kendall Jenner struggled to slice a cucumber with a sharp knife? It was aimed in an awkward position. Kendall's inability to cut the vegetable made Chris feel super unsettled and uncomfortable. Chris was so bothered. She tried to call the private chef into the room to help. In another scene, Kendall offered up her home as a place for Kourtney Kardashian to bring her kids. It was while Kourtney was waiting for her own house to be renovated. Kendall walked into the kitchen to find a rowdy scene. Kourtney's kids were all acting super rambunctious and talking super loudly. In another episode, viewers got a glimpse inside Khloe Kardashian's kitchen. It was organized to the extreme with different jars, drawers, and cabinets for every single type of snack you could imagine. So, while it's true that the Kardashians' camera crew isn't allowed to film the family in the bathroom, kitchen scenes are certainly here to stay. What are your thoughts on the way the Kardashians' camera crew handles their filming process? Let us know in the comment section below. Kris Jenner, the formidable matriarch of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, has been a driving force behind the global success of her family. With a decades-long reign over reality television, her ability to strategize, market, and brand every aspect of the Kardashian-Jenner empire is well documented. However, in a recent interview, she gave fans a rare glimpse into the boundaries that exist behind the scenes, pulling back the curtain on what remains off-limits when it comes to filming Keeping Up With The Kardashians' Kiyuvit Vite. For a show that has capitalized on drama, emotions, and the intricacies of family dynamics, the very concept of having boundaries might come as a surprise to viewers. After all, Ki Levu Ki has chronicled countless personal moments, from births and breakups to weddings and hardikas. Yet, as Jenner reveals, not everything is meant for public consumption, even when you're a Kardashian. A carefully curated reality. Kris Jenner may be famous for coining the term momager, but her role extends far beyond managing her children's careers. As the executive producer of Q Voodoo K, Jenner has played an integral role in shaping what the public sees and doesn't see of the family. We've always been very transparent about our lives, Chris noted, but there are some moments that are just too personal, too raw, or even too complicated to put on television. She explained that although the show thrives on authenticity, every family member maintains the right to draw lines when needed. The decision-making process, according to Chris, is a collaborative one. We discuss everything as a family. If one of my kids is going through something that they're not ready to share, 
or something that's still too fresh, we respect that. What's off-limits? So, what exactly constitutes off-limits for the Kardashians? Despite major medical issues, key featuring moments like Kim's psoriasis diagnosis or Courtney's pregnancies, there is a threshold when it comes to medical situations. Chris explained that while they are open to sharing health updates, some medical concerns remain too sensitive to broadcast. If it's something very personal or requires a lot of privacy, we'll choose to keep it private, she said. For instance, hospital stays or major surgeries might not always make it on air. Indeed, the family's discretion was clear during Caitlyn Jenner's transition. While the family addressed the situation on the show, much of the journey, especially during the more private, emotional moments, was handled delicately, revealing only what the family felt comfortable discussing. Children's Privacy Though the Kardashian-Jenner children have become a part of the show's storyline, Chris emphasized that the next generation is given a different level of privacy. While Mason, Penelope, North, and the other children are often seen in the background or during lighter moments, their lives are not the focus of the narrative. The kids are off-limits in terms of big, impactful storylines. Their parents get to decide what's appropriate to show, and we all agree that their childhood should be protected as much as possible. They didn't choose this life. We did. Relationship breakdowns. Breakups have been a recurring theme throughout the series. Think Kim and Chris Humphreys, infamous 72-day marriage or close struggles with Lamar Odom. However, Chris revealed that when relationships unravel, not everything makes it to the final cut. It's a balancing act, she explained. We want to be honest with the audience, but we're also human beings with feelings. We'll show the truth of the situation, but some details, especially those that could harm others, we'll choose to keep private. For instance, while close tumultuous relationship with Tristan Thompson was addressed on the show, the more painful and intimate details were either glossed over or left out entirely, particularly to protect Chloe's mental health and her daughter True. Family Conflicts One of the show's most intriguing elements has been the family's ability to handle internal conflict on camera. Whether it's Kendall and Kelly's sisterly spat or Courtney and Kim's full-on fight, fans have seen it all. Yet Chris clarified that the most severe disputes often stay behind closed doors. If we feel that something is going to do more harm than good, we choose not to air it, she explained. We're a family at the end of the day. We might not always agree, but some disagreements are best left private, for the sake of our relationships. Certain business ventures While the Kardashian-Jenner family's business ventures, from Kim's Skims to Kelly's Kelly Cosmetics, are a major part of the show, not all deals are discussed on camera. Chris explained that some negotiations, partnerships, or legal battles are too sensitive for reality TV. If it involves other people's livelihoods or legal concerns, we're very careful, Chris said. We don't want to jeopardize anything by airing it prematurely. Walking the line. Ultimately, Chris Jenner's revelation underscores the fine line that the Kardashians walk between reality and entertainment. The family's unprecedented level of fame is, in many ways, built on their openness. But even in the world of reality TV, where the line between public and private is notoriously blurred, the Kardashians have drawn boundaries to protect themselves. We love our fans and want to share our lives with them, Chris said, but we're also human. We have our own personal limits, and I think it's important for people to remember that. As QWTK may continue through new iterations, like the Hulu show The Kardashians, the family remains at the forefront of entertainment, offering a glimpse into their ever-glamorous, ever-dramatic lives. But, as Chris has made clear, not every moment will make it to the screen. And, perhaps, that's what keeps fans coming back. The intrigue of knowing just enough but never everything. Chris Jenner's candid insight into what stays off-camera serves as a reminder that despite the carefully curated world of reality TV, there are still some things too precious to put on display, proving that even the Kardashians, the queens of sharing, have their limits. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our Kardashian Update News YouTube channel for more update news.